Good morning class, my name is Luis Figueroa and I will be presenting to you guys my research paper. The topic that I choose is residential concrete mix and recycle concrete life cycle assessment. What will we today? What is concrete and how it is made? History, optimization through recycling, concrete life cycle, methodology, analysis and result economic aspect of concrete. Conclusion What is concrete and how it's made? The concrete is essentially a mixture of aggregate, rock and the paste. This paste is typically composed of water and cement. In the next figure we're, we're seeing the process, the, base, the basic process of the concrete starting with the carrying of the material limestone and a small amount of sand and clay are extracted usually from a nearby location from the plant. The raw material and then preparate. Those material you blend it with additional component depending on the type of limestone and fine grout for further processing. After that, that process go to the clinker production. The material is heated with a lean crisp reaching a temperature of 1470 Celsius. The heat is transformed the material into a molten molten product called the crinker, which is rapidly cooled. The cement and grating and distribution. The clinker is stored and then fine grouted. The gypsum is added to the setting time, along with the supplementary cementing material, such as fly ash, slag, to obtain a fine powder called the cement with the desired properties of a strain and chemical resistance. History of the concrete The early use of the concrete can be traced to as far back as the 7000 BC in Israel. Recently, archaeologists found a ruin that might use concrete floating in the 1985. The second group of people known to have used concrete is the Egyptians in the 3000 BC for the construction of the pyramid. Accordingly, they have used modern straw. On the modern concrete, the modest is the man and the choice is the aggregate. Optimization through recycling. The fact that there was a continued effort to improve the concrete quality starting from 1759, the concept became popular in the 20th century due to the scary resource of the making concrete. The first recycled concrete were only used for building roads or paving until recently in the 21th century where it was discovered to be crushed and mixed with other material and the mix can also sue for making residential buildings. Also, I want to mention that on a research paper from the European Union they estimated that only in construction and demolition ways, 200 million tons are generated are generated every single year. The U.S. also generate the same amount of construction and demolition waste. The majority of this material is concrete, which is, has reached the end of its long life cycle. Concrete life cycle. The entire concrete life cycle can therefore be divided into two parts. The production of the cement and the aggregate is started with the purchase of the raw material, soy fuel, and the gypsum and other material. slide, I will talk more into depth for the entire life cycle of the concrete. On the left of the screen, we can see the raw material, soy fields, gypsum, and other cementous material, followed by the transportation cost and energy required required to the to make the transportation, the cement manufacturing, then carry, raw meal preparation, processing, finished grading. After that product is finished, it's transported to the concrete production where mixing loading out, molding, and the use take place. 
followed by the finished grading back to the mixing. That's after the concrete is recycled. Go back to the mixer. The methodology for this paper, I choose the life cycle assessment. Accordingly, this method focusing on the accountability of the pro and cons of this stage of stage in the entire life cycle of the product to the environment. The pros and cons are then used to make improvement to the product life cycle for a strategy planner, for public policy making, for marketing and other applications. Analysis and results. The rear assessment or point of comparison is the resource and use of aggregate. This means that the efficiency of using raw material which are obtained through carrying must to be compared to the efficiency of using recycled concrete. It is interesting to know that the major expenses that should be incurred of for raw material to be sued as aggregate should be dispensed on the carrying and the transportation steps. Accordingly, after the demolition, the demolished concrete will have to be segregated. The segregation is due to the fact that the demolished material may contain other material which may interfere with the grading step. There are one other form of concrete recycled method aside from crushing it to smaller particles. Some study has shown that as long as the concrete had not yet reached heat lifespan, the concrete block can use the, their entirely. In this slide, I will present the economic aspect and the environmental aspect between compulsory and optional. For the raw material costs, carrying costs, transportation, mixing and construction, chemical monitor, landfill are all compulsory costs, meaning that for you to be able to produce those material, you must incur in those costs. For the recycled concrete, the segregation costs are compulsory, obviously because you have to segregate the material to be able to use it again. The greeting costs, transportation, hazard chemical analysis, mixing and construction, those, those costs are split between compulsory and optional. Optional are the greeting costs and transportation costs, meaning that if you somehow get the people or get your material in the plant, you, you avoid the transportation costs. But mixing, mixing and the harassment chemical analysis, those is compulsory. After that, the environmental aspect, the raw material, the possible leaching in the landfill, contribution to depleting of natural resource versus the recycled concrete that is possible contain herosal chemical chemicals and contribute to conservation of natural resources. To conclude with this presentation from the result of the life cycle analysis, it can be conducted the analysis and environmental efficiency of using recycled concrete or raw concrete material in residential concrete mix is highly dependable in the planning of the building, construction, and the method used for recycling. It should be pointed out, however, that the method of recycling concrete which involves grinding and crushing into smaller particles can also be cost efficient if both the crushing and the use of the crushing concrete are done in the same area with minimum transportation expenses. Recycled concrete is also more economical sound due to the fact that it reduces the landfill and necessary continuous environmental monitoring. Questions or comments? Please send me an email to lewisk at night.ucf.edu. I hope you guys enjoy my presentation. Thank you and have a wonderful day.